subscribe and ring the bell. With Only the, two uh, tables? Oh, four tables. Okay, I'll, I'll just speed it up a little bit. Let me yeah. try to speed it up faster, faster, and faster. And let's try one more. Ah, I think that's okay. So, King Gate offsuit, we start opening this. Ah, you're, you're using the avatars. I'm using super, super basic, nothing, no avatar, no table, no nothing, just the black and the round table and Oh, yeah. so that's it yeah but they oh, okay. pissed me off because when they <laughs> launched the software it was so terrible that i couldn't read the um the buttons like they worked a little bit with the contrasts now but before the colors were like the buttons were a lot lighter a lot brighter when they released this new software so i couldn't freaking read it and also the chips were hard to read yeah like like it's it's it was it was it was terrible. They worked on it. They didn't have that black background behind the zero thirty, and the table was much brighter. Everything was much brighter. It was okay. really really a lot harder to read. <laughs> it's yeah. It, they seem to be it. Mine crashes quite a lot. Yeah yeah. It, it, it does. So it does. The new software is shit. But yeah. whatever. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like. The, the old software was way better. They should have left the option for the new guys. Oh, there's me, by the way. That's you. Yeah, now I was laughing because I just saw you. <laughs> your name. Is yeah. this is this from this is not for you from yesterday, right? This is from no, two this days day ago before. because yesterday I didn't play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's see. So see. See that. See that. Took it away. <laughs> <laughs> guy limps. Guy limps nice. in the small blind. Look at that. I had nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. All right, so we open King Gate. This is a flop that we don't want to really attack here. I mean, it's uh, ah the guy the guy yeah he three, three but us. In three, he clicked it he back. So it. I just pulled. It's not a click back. Click back is fifty sixty is a two x three bet. But we can't we still can't fold anything. So no, I'm, I I really agree, and I'm folding the flop because look like any I don't think I don't think he's betting sevens here. Mm. Right, if he if he actually had sevens, flop is extremely yeah. scary for both of you. What he, what you yeah. gotta learn is that, like a flop like this, would be really really and really. And I think I remember seeing actually seeing this hand at the table, and I said bad call on the flop or something like that. But um, it's it's really it's really sort of like he's never gonna bet with worse except for like Ace King or Ace Jack, who still has has really really good equity versus you. So yeah. I. I generally give up here, especially with the bet size. Okay, yeah. it's like this guy. I've seen him at the tables. He's clearly a sort of a reg, not really super reg, but a sort of a like he's playing. Okay, he's playing yeah. often and more tables than one, so he's not a total dumb bag. Yeah. So now you gotta ask yourself, like, okay, what am I continuing here? I'd continue with I think a ten, okay, or some like ten x. Yeah, with some sort of at least a gut shot or flush. Shot, I'd probably call, but King Gate offsuit has no outs. It has no real value here, mm. and I I just give it up. Nice, nice, really nice. I was actually expecting a call. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, no, I saw I saw another another hand was, but I I wrote a, I wrote that to you, you all did, I think, yeah, on you, Facebook. You sent me a message. Versus yeah. that Paco Pablo guy, something whatever. All right, definitely folding that ace four, eight four diamonds. All right, nice. Queen nine suited, folding five nine versus min raise folding. Okay. Queen four, yeah. So like that. Now, now we have info on this guy that is opening a lot and is opening two x, so we can start widening our ranges. Not necessarily three by bluffing, but calling wider. Like for example, versus his cutoff open, I could potentially call like Jack Ten offsuit or Jack Nine suited in small blind. That would be like widening our range a little bit. <clears throat> See, like this is the third time he opens. He, if we yeah. find out that he's opening any hand from every position, this is gold. Like we can exploit him a lot. Mm. All right, we raise from the small blind. Generally, have to give up this board. It's just, it's just way, way, way too connected. And he's also going to be scared of that board if he's got, like, yeah. pocket fours or whatever. He's not betting either. Sure, we're losing. But I think, like, ace five or ace seven. Ace seven is betting. But ace five, ace three, ace four, ace deuce, ace six even. 
Uh, even something like Ace Queen might check it down. So I think that when he bets, he's actually really strong there. Uh, okay, so we're opening 25. I do recommend opening 30, but yeah, sure, 25 is okay. Um, I'm betting this flop because I have two overcards plus the backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw, which is flush draw is more important. But um, sure, this board is non bluffable. We don't we don't really have air. We don't really have five twos here. We got a king. So I think that if we have bought this board, pay attention. If you have bought this board with two overcards, what's your equity? Uh, like both six. cards. It's like essentially the thing is you have position, so you can afford 20, to bluff. 24 yeah. percent, twenty five percent equity. Yeah. yeah. So. so essentially we we got position, so we can afford to bluff this flop because mm. we have two over cards. Our equity is twenty five percent, right? Mm. So if you bet half pot, then yep. we need twenty five percent equity because mm -hmm. we're putting half pot into two pots, right? Yeah. So it's actually it's exactly our equity. So if he folds like even 5%, we're making a profit. So I think that half potting this board would be fine. Okay. Uh, queen 10, so queen, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't even mind the three quarters sizing with the ace-king. I mean, it's yeah. a bit more convincing, but it's both, both sizing are fine. I believe that you get, you might get the same Fold equity yeah. to half pot as you get yeah. on that board to as you get to. I usually, I yeah, I usually go for that with like over pairs to the flop. I usually go sort of half or just above. Um, over pairs to the flop, you should be going for more, like go for, for more. more value. Yeah, go for the three right. quarters generally. Um, we got five. We check call on the flop. I would like to check fold this flop. Ace king mm -hmm. five. Like the guy just hits it way too much, but mm -hmm. but. Uh, I would call the 5-9 if there was an ace or a king of diamonds. Okay, I need some backdoors. Yeah. You understand? All right. Yeah, I get you. Like, this is, this is just... You got no equity. Now now you're, like, forced... To, like, turn was kind of a call. <laughs> okay. But really, really close. Really, really close. Again, you're, you're kind of, like, forced into it. And yeah. It's tough. Um, guy min raises. Guy three bets from the small blind. And you're thinking about... Something here. <laughs> All right, folding. <laughs> you thought that it was a three bet, or uh, I thought because King Bron might be yeah. picking up the fact that grind it up is opening every hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so I was thinking, if I put it to one seventy, one eighty here, uh, King Bron's gonna have to have something. One seventy coming... is way too small. You need to make it at least more than 10 blinds for the other guy to call okay okay so like two would be okay 220 two, one, two, twenty. okay like that. yeah i was thinking if um I yeah I, it here it puts king bron in positions because he doesn't want to play the hand out of position against me so he's either gonna have to five bet or uh put it down yeah and also thought, his avatar is really weird yeah <laughs> <laughs> that as well but yeah. no the fact is like your thought process is perfect Aside from the fact that I don't think King Bron will be three bet bluffing, uh, grind grind it up too much. I mean, okay. he's probably gonna be three betting for value versus this guy who's opening wider. Yeah. But I do love it. Like I, I would have pushed this trigger. I would have pushed the oh, trigger okay. also. So very yeah. very 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 lovely it, play. I th I thought about it. I was thinking, will he? But it's it's yeah. it, it's a really good hand because you have the blockers. I would have done mm -hmm. done this with yep. King Queen Ace Queen. Yeah. Um, something like. 10s plus, 9s plus, okay, right. and okay. ace king also. So, um, yeah, that's a good play. Um, might also flat with aces, depends, because uh, we're 100 blinds. The guy on the button just opens 100%. Uh, yeah. I think that it's it's pot on the flop is going to be something like two dollars. So we can get like if we get manage to get two streets from top pair, that would be like massive. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, just one sec, sorry. Uh, yeah. Girlfriend brought me coffee. Nice. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's it's a really, really good move. You're clearly thinking. I like it. Yeah, I just didn't follow through. Like, picking up on people, that's really nice. And that's also a reason why you should be changing your identity, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and what when you're changing your identity, I suggest trying to make... Uh, names that are very, very different from one another, like yeah. absolutely no connection. My, I do connections because because I don't <laughs> care. I break these games. Like I started with 
on the 13th of January with 100, and now I got 500 and something. Sweet. So, and I didn't even play every day. So it's and I I also coach. I no, nah, I I didn't grind that much, but I'm yeah. breaking these guys. I'm I'm going up to 25 really soon in a few days. Sweet. So hopefully, like I I did have a minus eight binds uh, downswing day. Yeah. So, but. I did have a plus eight by an upswing and a plus thirteen by an upswing day, so it seems fine to me. Um, so yeah, I guess that this is a really really cool move. I would have loved it if you pulled it off, but yeah. uh, you will you look. Um, I suggest yeah, folding is better in your current situation because your bankroll yeah. is not that high. Yeah. Okay. This is a high variance spot. It will be in the long run. It will be a high variance spot. So. Uh, I suggest doing this when you got at least like 500. Yeah. Okay. So like it, yeah. it makes sense. The move makes sense. I love it. But okay. need need more but money. <laughs> Aaron, sorry, bullshit. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. All right. Seven nine suited there. Um, this is a spot where this guy opens cutoff, so I fold. But I'll explain to you something that I figured out. Um, if you're like big blind and yeah. early position or middle position open. And yeah. you got a suited connector, you can call because uh, you're faced versus a range that doesn't have a lot of flush nodes, so you're not really dominated in any in any situation, okay? Yeah. So even something like five four suited is fine to call, but you need to play it heads up. That's 100% heads up versus the early position or middle position ranges. Yeah. Okay, but not never cut off button or small blind. Don't start doing that because you're gonna get dominated, flush over flush, death to your stack. Okay. So on, only one, only heads up. Okay. Only heads up and only versus early position and middle position opens. Yep. All right. All right, looking fine. Let's see that. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. oh, wait, 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 wait. We, we, we're missing a piece of information. What happened in this spot? So this guy 3-bet to 80, which is, by the way, which is reg sizing, okay? It's really good sizing. Yep. Um. Now we fold. The guy, the other guy calls instantly, almost. Uh, I, I don't know if it's instantly because I'm speeding the video up, yeah. but called pretty fast. So he bets. So half yeah, he bet on the flop, and the other guy, pro yeah, the other guy probably folded. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the guy will also call three bets. I I kind of yeah. extrapolate from that that a guy will call a lot of three bets. So. Like I said, we're not supposed to 3-bet bluff him a lot, but we can 3-bet wider for value. Yeah. Especially if we're in position, by the way. Okay, so, wait, 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 wait. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. So, <laughs> uh, we opened the king jack. Yeah. Yeah, and flops is ace deuce 4. We check back. Uh, call turn and check back river. Uh, play is fine, to be honest. Yeah. I don't mind betting flop. I don't mind checking back flop. Like, betting will only get us called by pairs. And um, flush jaws, so basically we're behind if we get called. But um, also checking, ba uh, also betting will fold some of his lo lesser hands than King Jack. that are weaker, but still have chances to hit turn and river. So it's kind of it's kind of okay. Uh, turn call is fine. Yeah. Also checking back, like we're we got the nut nothing. So if this guy's a bit more passive, then it's it's fine. We can just check it back and take it to showdown. He called out a small blind. So he's going to have not that many hands, to be honest, that are worse than King Jack. He's going to have some suited stuff, maybe, that's mm -hmm. worse, but not, mm -hmm. may, not many uh, on this board. Um, King on the turn makes it so that we can call. He's definitely betting any flush draw here, so I'm fine. Like, there's two flush draws down there, so I'm yeah. perfectly fine with calling the turn. And he also might have some, like, random Queen Jack, Jack 10, Queen 10 bluffs. Um... And also something like six, seven suited. Uh, river, I wouldn't call the river ever yeah. if he double barrels. He's just way too good. Flush, yeah. ace, whatever, two pair, random, straights. Yeah. It's okay. So river is fold, but as played, it's okay. And also, also they fucked up the rebuy so that when you raise in a hand and get re-raised, you can actually like rebuy and then fold. Saw that. Like no, you you the... raise thirty cents, so you got nine seventy, and yeah. then someone three bets to one one euro, and then you want to fold, but first you want to rebuy before folding, right? So that you can start the next hand with ten. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> because they yeah. fucked up the software. All right, so sevens is perfect call here. Check check check. Just take it to showdown. There we go. Rebuy. 
Okay, nice. That night, uh, maybe they fixed the software. I don't know, but for me, like a few days ago, it was bad. I'm waiting for the next update because mm. they're improving. They're improving. It but the previous down. software, I liked it a lot yeah. more. It was down for a few days, a few weeks back. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Um, and then that's mostly them getting DDoS, I think, <laughs> like getting their servers attacked and stuff like that. DDoS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technical term. Hello, hand. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Pocket fives. I probably had something there. All right, check, 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 check. Do I have pocket sixes? I bet the river. <laughs> Do you call it? Do you call it like my my river bet? Look, my river bet doesn't make any sense, by the way, because uh, there's a flush draw on the turn. So if I, if I had the king, I would have probably bet. Mm. Okay. So yeah. like. There, okay, a yes. flop goes check, check, jack on the turn. Uh, if I had a king, I'd bet. Okay, if I had a straight, I'd bet. So river comes total brick, it doesn't matter. And now I bet. I'm, I'm actually showing you how to pick up my bluffs. <laughs> yeah. Here. So you bet like, your When I bet like half pot on the river, I either have like two pair or nothing. Like totally nothing. And you can call me with fives probably here. And you only need me to have 25% of nothing. Right? Mm. Pot odds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess it's very, very close to be honest here. All right, mm. I might even be, I might even be bluffing with like uh, pocket sevens, so it would be really bad. <laughs> but yeah. uh, in this spot, raising will actually get you almost, almost 100% fold equity. By the way, yeah, that's correct. Good. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. See, so, so it's it's fine. Let's see the ace jack hand on top. Uh, top left, you open, and this guy makes it 82. The other guy calls. You're forced into call, obviously. If it's ace jack offsuit or ace queen offsuit, I'd probably Putting hold. It down. By the way, yeah. um, okay. And I don't, I don't take a stab at the spot because it went. The guy three bet, and the other guy called, and it went check check. It's. I, I know, like, I understand why you want to take a stab at this spot, because it really seems that Noren has a pair here, yeah. and you're ahead with Ace-Jack. But it's really complicated. I mean, uh, this Demi guy, he cold called, remember, he cold called the three, but in the big blind, so generally mm -hmm. that's a pocket pair. Yeah. Okay? Or Ace-King. You might call both, but I kind of put these guys who call call three bets, like, randomly on generally Pass. pockets. Yeah. Yeah. Now, th there we go. He bet. Yeah, like generally, it's like jacks or queens or tens or something like that. So, mm -hmm. I I refrain. I, and in general, I refrain from bluffing a lot of flops. Yeah. We're nearing the ending of the first recording. Uh, also, I gotta show you something. So, like, I've improved my strategy of not only randomly three. But by the way, you're supposed to call that ace three of hearts. Okay, so. What is that? Versus cut off oh, open. Here. Look, I open a cutoff. Uh, any suited ace versus cutoff open is okay to call. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I've only been calling from the button, but uh, I'll no, open it's, up. it's fine. It's fine. Cutoff, same thing. Okay. All right, so this is the ending of the third, first recording. I Subscribe and ring the bell.